and welcome to a new video and trip report and today we're taking the tram of Berlin from Köpenick to Malsdorf and here on the map you can see our route today. This will be a short video as I was just using this tram as a connection between the S3 and the S5 but first let's take a look at the arrival of my tram. Our train today is a tram of the type GT6N. In the area around Köpenick there are only trams of this type because they are slightly thinner than the Flexities. So the Flexities cannot operate in the city center of Köpenick because they are too wide. Therefore all lines that are going through Köpenick are operated by the GT6N. These are also currently the oldest trams in the network and they are supposed to be replaced in the future but currently they are running on many lines exclusively in Berlin as there are only two types of trams in Berlin at the moment. We are on the line 62 right now that is coming from the station Wendenschloss and is now going to Malsdorf. We are going from the station Köpenick to the station Malsdorf which is the end of the line. That means that we're seeing about half of the line. Until the station Ransdorfer Straße there's also the line 63 on the same railway line and the last three stops Alt Malsdorf, Wilhelms Mühlenweg and S-Bahn in Malsdorf can only be reached with the line 62. We are going through suburban areas mainly but there's also a short part that is going through a forest and a short part that is crossing a field that can also be used for public events. the last stations we also have some tight bands where we can see the train a bit better. Here we can see the train in the band and shortly after we are reaching the final stop S-Bahn Malsdorf where I have connection with the line S5 which will also be the topic of the next video. Here we have another tight band. In this part of the tram line there's also only one track available and here we have the last corner to reach the final stop of the line in Malsdorf and this is also the end of this rather short video but before that we can take a look at the interior of the GT6N. And that's already it for this video. I hope it was interesting for you despite being a bit shorter. Here you can see when the next video will be uploaded and the name of the song. As always, I'd like to say thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please consider to comment, like or share the video link and if you want to see more train videos make sure to follow and I hope to see you in my next video.